You know, 50 years from now, I hope that people will say Darnell was a bridge maker. He was a peacemaker. He brought joy into the room. You know, this guy, he knew how to celebrate life. He knew how to invite everyone to the table. And ultimately for them to say that, you know what, this guy, he loved his God. Around 2014 is when I decided to return to pursuing a career in musical theater. And let me tell you, man, I mean, it, it, was, it was tough because it was a steep learning curve. 2015 is when I was offered to work for Disney in their production of Festival of the Lion King um, down in Orlando. After Disney, I did a production of a show called Sideshow. I was in callbacks for a production of Ragtime at Barrington Sage Company in the Berkshires. I ended up getting it, which was pretty exciting. I then uh, performed it in Algonquin, Maine at the Algonquin Playhouse. While I was in Maine, that's when I got the call that I had received an offer to do the Color Purple National Broadway Tour. So then we hit the road that fall with the Color Purple. My first audition with Hamilton was back in December 2016. There were a series of callbacks and then that, that was it. It was in the fall of 2018 is when they called me back in. And I think I had like, seven or eight callbacks over the span of like two and a half weeks. I, I remember when, when I got the call from my agent, she was like, I have an offer for you for, for Hamilton. And I mean, that alone is like, oh my gosh, you know? But when she was like, it's for the company with Lemon Well that will go to Puerto Rico. I mean, like, that was just crazy. Literally, like my mind just. Take a shot, take a shot. Not going away, my, not going away. Hey, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Tyree. <laughs> I grew up in a, in a lovely home environment. My parents, my sisters, I'm the only boy. It was great just having love and support, you know, from, from my family. But outside of that, there was a real world that wasn't always nice, that wasn't always kind. And so acting became that escape for me. My parents, man, you know, they, they were rock stars. With the cultures of the neighborhood in terms of like sports and that pressure of playing sports, my dad, he was like, hey, look, I think it's important that you know how to play basketball, <laughs> even if you're terrible at it. I'm terrible at basketball. Don't ask me to be on your team. But then he was like, at the end of the day, let's, let's continue to invest. And, the unique qualities that God has placed in you. He was affirming me, but he was also reinforcing the fact that, you know, you are good enough. <laughs> I wanted my kids to have the chance to go see and experience all the different sights, life, the experience of different people, culture. I want them to know that there's much more to life than just being here in this town. If you have a chance to get outside the box, find it and work on it, and it will take you somewhere. And I remember being introduced to uh, Casablanca, singing in the rain, the works of Shakespeare. It was, it was really exciting for me to be introduced to this new world of, of acting and, and the arts. And the really cool thing about working in the arts, you know, we tried to explore things from different angles. So my parents, even then, were supporting that way of thinking. And I just think that is, that was such a gift. We grow as people, as individuals. So the way we, we see and understand these roles evolves with the way and we see ourselves and the world that we live in. Acting was an escape for me as a kid. And as I got older, that began to evolve. That began to change as I became more confident in who I was as a, as a person. Today, it's really more a, a conduit. For me as an artist, if I can do something that sparks conversation, I feel like I've done my job. You know, I'm not necessarily trying to change people's minds. Rather, I'm trying to encourage people to come to the table. 
I'm always looking for those opportunities to promote community and peace and, and, and love. All right, hey you guys, here we are. I want to introduce you to Wanda. Wanda is our merchandise manager. So Wanda, tell us, what is your favorite part about being on tour? Being with my husband. Wanda, who's your husband? You. <laughs> God is more interested in my character and marriage than he is my career. From going on tours and moving to New York to being back in California to everything in between. It's just been such an incredible journey that we've been able to go on together as a co with the sacrifices, yes, but all of it has been an opportunity for our love just to grow stronger and strengthen it. Through relationships, through my marriage, through my education, my time at APU, God orchestrated that. My faith community, my, my castmates, you know, the fact that I get to work with such incredible people every day, I've been very, very fortunate and that is only because of what God has done and is doing in my life. This is almost like a spiritual experience for me. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just deeply moved right now. I would tell the 10 year old Darnell, everything that you are going to go through is worth it. Everything that you're going to face, every obstacle, just know that those will also be met with great joy mountaintop experiences. And I would also tell 10-year-old Darnell, it's okay to be a little different. That's okay. <laughs>